Hi everyone, today we are under planting my hibiscus. I'm so excited. So I am doing my super two near bubblegum. This one is leggy because I have purchased this probably a month now. So it's been sitting there. So I'm gonna cut all the leggy parts off like hair going all the way around. This way it can come back a lot more full. And yeah, like you see, looks a bit like a spider <laughs> so all those leggy parts i'm going to cut them off yep give it a good trim and then i'm going to get it planted in here i wonder if that's too close to the root maybe i should put it out a little bit more and this is my um daffodil so i'm going to let those die back i'm not going to um cut those back or anything i'm going to have them over winter I think it'll be fine there because this is super tuna. It's going to spread all the way down. I'm going to have to keep it trimmed <laughs> in this line. So that's what I'm worried about. And I'm all protected from mosquitoes. Another thing I want to show you. And if you saw my last two container updates, I was showing you the difference. And I'm still like so amazed. <laughs> $9.99. I ordered this on the Proven Winners website. Super Tuna Vista Bubblegum. Ace Hardware. Hagen Ace Garden Center. $6.99. Look at the container size difference. And the problem I ran into when I was putting these in the container was these were too big for my container. So I kind of like this size. I saw this size at um, Hagen Ace for $3.99 as well. So they have really good deals there. So I really like shopping there. But I'm still just like, I paid more for this online plus shipping. <laughs> I'm still crying about that. Plus shipping twice to get a smaller container. So you get more bang for your buck. And that's another reason why I always wait as long as possible to order online because I might see it in the, in the garden center. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to get my biotone in. And I'm doing a pink and white theme similar to the purple border. I'm going to show you the purple border in a minute, but I'm doing a pink and white theme. Um, I have the small border that's in between my concrete slab. I complained about that before. It's not doing so well. It's just not a good growing area for the plants. They're not loving it at all. <clears throat> so I got my biotone in. Mix it in. And I'm gonna put this in there. And this is a Super Tuna Vista bubblegum. I think this and, this and the Super Tuna Vista silver bear, which I'm planting today as well, are two of the most vigorous um super tunis they grow very they have a mounding and trailing habit and they grow vigorously so they will take a, i have never planted them in containers come to think of it it's always been in the landscape so what i'm doing right now i'm just cutting off the extra leggy portions let's give it a cute trim oh my goodness this morning i woke up to a comment <laughs> From one of you guys <laughs> and you recommended that I cut back the um <laughs> the super tuna per simeon to match my <laughs> my yellow super tuna saffron fringe that I just planted and I was like clutching my pearls I'm like you want me to cut it all the way back it just grew in <laughs> I'm one of those people who go to the um the hair salon well, I used to because I just cut my hair recently. So yeah, I used to go to the hair salon and complain when they cut my hair instead of giving me a trim. Don't you hate that? You go to the hair salon, they pretty much hack off half of your hair. Talking about, oh, it was bad. It stretched split ends instead of giving you the trim that you're supposed to get. So that reminded me of that. I'm like, you want me to chop off all my super tunia beautiful petals just to line up with the new one? I'm gonna take my chances, guys. I'm gonna keep it trimmed though because um, it's longer. It's gonna get longer than the container and I normally trim them. So, especially when they get all tethered up and like this. You see, I'm okay with trimming, even though I can trim this lower, but uh, we're just gonna keep it pretty low. Okay, I think that's enough. Leggy portions chopped off. 
and they grow up pretty fast because I remember oh my goodness one year the rabbits came on my lawn it was actually some pet rabbits that they dumped in the woods over there I guess somebody got them for Easter they multiplied on them because they had babies and everything and they dumped them in the woods those rabbits came on my lawn they were eating all my plants I was like so what the neighborhood did that they came in and um, grabbed them and some people kept them as pets some people gave them to like bus drivers and stuff so that was good because they were not going to survive in the woods especially if they're not wild rabbits because I know there were some brown wild rabbits that live over there but these were white rabbits oh this was a bit on the dry side let me water it in a little bit first before I plant it in there it goes stay right here so I was giving it a little bit of drink of water while it's in the container and I put some water in the hole as well Wait for that to drain down a bit. And while I'm waiting for the water to settle in, I will just go around and prep the remaining holes for these plants. And I need to go grab the other three. <laughs> I think it's a bit overkill, don't y'all think? I think I'm going to have too much in here, but we'll see. Alright, so the water has settled. Still a bit dry, but we'll survive. Put it right here. And then we backfill it. And I have some compost here I put in the hole. But that's still big, I'll use this one. Come on, I need to borrow your container. Thank you. You hear the birds? They're out already. Water it in. Oh, this water cold. <laughs> Since it was a bit on the dry side, I'm giving it a good drink of water. And then we're going to take the mulch and spread it along this side as well. Alright, so next up, we're going to get the Super Tunia silverberry and these are all full to part sun <laughs> this is a full sun area so we're going to see how it does and if you remember I had put paper down on here and remember I told you that look at this how easy it is to dig into it that the paper just melt right up because it's already and look at the grass it's already yellow and breaking down because it hasn't gotten any sunlight so the mulch and the paper is pretty much killing it and this way I didn't have to dig it up look at that look at all that brown grass already you see that brown grass and this was only done was it last week I think I posted this, this video last week of me mulching this bed here so I'm just going to dig it up look at that so easy to dig in so I added some compost and biotone in here and this is because I have sandy soil so and I amend the sand each time I plant um, something. Now over here I have um, some topsoil on here because I had to plant grass. Oh my goodness if my grandmother would hear me now. I had to buy grass and plant it. <laughs> she would be like you spent money on grass? Free grass. <laughs> but yes, I had to topsoil it first and then I met my husband and I, we put the grass, the sod down. 
All right, so I'm going to backfill this hole and get some more compost to fill it in. And I should be wearing a gloves. I have no idea where any of my gloves are. So <laughs> that's that. So that's an excuse to go to the garden center so I can buy new gloves. So they can end up missing <laughs> like these. Right. <laughs> I'm so not used to planting these small supertunias. Oh my goodness, they're so tiny. I'm so used to the two and a half quart ones. All right, so I'm gonna water it in. <clears throat> and that one's already hydrated, so it doesn't need, I still gave it some, a good drink, but I had watered them already in. This, got the compost. There we go. All right, so that's the white and I'm gonna alternate the colors. So I got the rest of them planted. I leave this part for the pink and white because I have to go get it from another location. But look at my hibiscus. So cute. It's gonna start flowering soon, so I'm excited for that. It's gonna grow about a little bit more. It gets a little bit bigger than this, about five foot tall. So right now it's probably like about three. So give it a little bit more time and I will keep you guys posted on what it looks like when it's in bloom. So here go the other side. So it's pink, white, and it's gonna be pink and white, pink, and it goes around in the same clockwise motion. Oh. <laughs> I am loving it. Let me show you the location where I'm getting the um, the pink stars. It's actually the pink stars I'm going to be putting in there. So when you, if you're looking from this angle, you can see all the colors. Super Tuna Vista Bubblegum. Then the second one is going to be Super Tuna Vista Silverberry. And then the Super Tuna Mini Vista Pink Star. And then Super Tuna Vista Bubblegum and it goes around. So let me take you to the location where my pink star is. Over here. La la la. Hello, flowers. Beautiful flowers. Okay, so this location. And you can see, see, I took out the dianthus. I had some dianthus in there, as was another verbena. I took it out. This one is um, dried up to its dying. The only thing that's surviving in here is a super tuna <laughs> um, bubblegum. Look at that. It's living its life back there like it's no tomorrow. So I might just leave that one in there. But the pink stars they're getting a bit brown and i think it's because it's surrounded by this concrete slab why it's struggling because it does um impact the soil and make it more it lowers the um it increases the ph so it's not as acidic as it's supposed to be and plus it's sand and those builders grade thing that they dump in there so gravel mall sand there's a whole bunch of builders thing in here <laughs> but it's not rich soil for the plants so they're struggling so this is my i think fifth time planting in there and i think that's what it is so it, like even my blue point juniper i'm going to take it out because that's brown in comparison to the other one that's a lot more green so these pink stars i'm going to take them out and put them over by the hibiscus and this will give um me a full sun location to test them in so i can keep you guys posted on that all right so let's go on to the other side all right, so I'm just gonna go ahead and take this up. To bring to the other side. So pretty. Now that space is empty.
Okay, so I am getting this planted in. I got my biotone in the hole. I'm just gonna backfill it with some compost. Yay! I'm gonna do the same thing to the other one over there, and that's the last one. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna get it watered in. So I wanted to show you what my hibiscus sun conditions are. <laughs> so this is pretty much how it is. Probably about mm, seven to nine hours out of the day. It's a full sun location. And I want to test out the super tunias in the full sun location. Because I see a lot of you guys have asked me how do they do in full sun some of you guys mentioned that yours burnt in full sun so i am going to be your guinea pig <laughs> and test them out and keep you updated on how they do in full sun yes full sun the hibiscus she's gonna do great she's gonna love her life she loves sun and water um what i'm planning on doing though is watering them every day um I, somebody <laughs> mentioned I should get drip. I have a sprinkler system. It doesn't come on every day, but I do supplement with hand watering. So I will be hand watering these every day. Yep. But there it is, guys. I am excited. The birds are still out. The birds are always out. You see that forest over there? They live over there. And they sound beautiful. So I love it. So I'm always outside because I get to hear the birdies. Let me show you which one's there so in the front we have super tunia vista bubblegum next to it we have super tunia vista silverberry next to it we have the super tunia mini vista pink star and I'm gonna show the purple one to that one in a minute because I have the purple one to that. And I just pop the bubble gum in here. It's another bubble gum and it just repeats. Pink star, silver berry, and bubble gum. And like I said, those two in the front are my daffodils. I'll let them die back. I wanna see if they come back next year in my zone 9B Florida garden. But let me show you the purple ones so you can see what they look like when they're a bit bigger so over here we have the purple it's not called purple star but it's purple version so it's a similar theme I have going on so you have the silver berry purple that's the indigo and then the purple and white silver berry purple so similar cohesiveness I'm trying to copy that to the other side it's called super tuna mini vista violet star then you look over that side, you're gonna see it over there. Cute, 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 cute. All right, thank you so much everyone for joining me again. I appreciate each and every one of you guys. Thank you for your tips and helpful advice. And I will see you in the next video. Happy gardening, bye.